I saw this video the other day of honeybees in their hive, and it looks like one of them is dancing. It seems like an unusual activity for a bee, but apparently it's a daily occurrence. In 1967, Carl von Frisch, an Austrian ethologist, discovered that upon returning to the hive, a foraging bee dances for its fellow bees. The dance goes a little something like this. First, she gathers a crowd, then begins to walk in a figure of eight. In the center of the eight, she walks in a straight line while vibrating her abdomen, and then completes the eight. It's known as the waggle dance, and the middle part is called the waggle run. The bee boogie sort of makes sense, because every dance has meaning. This one is a signal for finding flowers. Bees and flowers adapt to meet each other's needs. To be pollinated, flowers need to attract bees. To collect a sufficient amount of nectar, bees need to work in a team to find flowers. Color is the first way that bees and flowers get chatty. Intricately patterned, colorful flowers are irresistible to bees. To the human eye, flowers look like this. But to bees, who see ultraviolet light, flowers reflect patterns that guide bees to the nectar, like a dart to a bullseye. Bees are also physically drawn to flowers through electrostatic fields. Bees are positively charged, while flowers are negatively charged. The charge is sensed by the bee, drawing her to the flower. And once there, she leaves as a cheese curl. Citrus flowers lace their nectar with caffeine to keep bees coming back for more, even after the nectar has run out. Orchids take it a step further by appealing to male bees who aren't even supposed to pollinate flowers. Orchids have learned to mimic the scent and appearance of female bees to deceive male bees into mating with them. When the male bee tries to mate with the orchid, the flower attaches makeshift pollen sacs to the bee to carry to another deceiving orchid. But since female bees, known as worker bees, are the ones intentionally pollinating flowers, that's where the boogie comes in. The worker bee returns to the hive and begins to waggle. This trend, which happens every time, led von Frisch to believe that the returning bee is telling her sisters where to find the source of nectar. He found that one second of waggling equated with 500 meters in distance. The waggle also indicates direction. Bees are sensitive to the polarization of light waves from the sun. If the bee waggles upwards, she's signaling that the nectar is towards the sun. If she waggles downwards, she's signaling that the nectar is away from it. The waggle is like a built-in GPS. Flowers give the bee nectar and pollen, and in return, the bee shares its location to the hive. Like any relationship, it's all about communication.